Welcome to Glen Oaks Escrow in Laguna Niguel. My name is Christopher Dale, Escrow Officer and Branch Manager, and I am at your service. Congratulations on successfully entering escrow. Let's take a few moments to review the buyer documents together. First up is the Confidential Information Statement. This form is required by the title company to assure no existing liens or judgments against you will need to be paid through your escrow. Please complete all fields, sign, and date the forms. Next is the Buyer's Vesting Information Form. Complete Part 1 with your full name and marital status as you wish it to appear on title. If taking title with more than one party, make the appropriate selection in Part 2 to complete the vesting instruction. If you wish to take title in your trust or as a corporation or LLC, please contact me for further instructions and requirements. Don't forget to sign the bottom of the form. Note that escrow cannot advise you how to take title. Please use this form to help with your selection. Here is the fire insurance information form. If you are purchasing a single family residence, your lender will require full coverage of the property. For condo or townhome buyers, your lender will require additional coverage beyond what is provided by the homeowners association, commonly called Walls In or HO6 insurance. Be sure to contact your carrier immediately to begin the quote process. Please provide your insurance carrier information along with your mailing address and email address and sign the bottom of the form. Next is the preliminary change of ownership report. This form is forwarded to the county recorder's office and advises them why a change of ownership is taking place. Please mark whether the property is intended as your principal residence and note the expected date of occupancy. Then, in part one, all statements should be marked no unless you are 55 years of age or older and or classified as severely disabled by the Internal Revenue Service. If either situation applies, mark yes to the applicable statement. Now let's move on to page two. Under part two, other transfer information, note the closing date in section A, mark purchase in section B, and mark no in section C. Part three, purchase price and terms of sale, requires you to enter the financial aspects of the transaction in sections A through E. Please list your realtor's information in the applicable fields of section G. Finally, in part four property information, mark the appropriate property type in section A, either single family residence or condominium, then mark no in sections B through D. In section E, rate the property condition, then sign and date the bottom of the form. This is the important notice regarding property taxes. This form advises you of the county tax assessor's schedule and notifies you of possible supplemental taxes. Please sign the form. Finally, we have our electronic signature authorization form and once signed, allows us to accept digital signatures from you on all future documents. Note that this document cannot be signed electronically. Feel free to contact my office with any questions. Thank you.